Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Founded in 1998, the Indo-Russian joint venture Brahmos Aerospace is now celebrating its 25th anniversary or Silver Jubilee. It's a well-deserved celebration as the Brahmos supersonic cruise missile has not only been inducted in large numbers among tri-services but is also leading a success story of Make in India and Defense Export. After the successful export of Brahmos missile worth $374 million to Philippines, the Brahmos Aerospace is now looking for sealing another deal with Indonesia worth $200 million. The deal will involve both anti-ship variant of Brahmos weapon system and a version that can be mounted on warships. The Brahmos Aerospace is also expecting second order of Brahmos missile system worth $300 million from Philippines. Thailand, Malaysia and Vietnam have also expressed interest in purchasing the Brahmos weapon system. Talking about Brahmos missile, it is a medium-range ramjet-powered supersonic cruise missile that can be launched from submarines, warships, fighter jets or land-based batteries. It is the fastest supersonic cruise missile in the world and in true sense, Brahmastra of India. The missile is powered by a solid rocket booster in first stage which is produced now locally by EEL, a subsidiary of Solar Industries. The second stage of missile is powered by liquid rocket ramjet by Russia. Brahmos Aerospace is also in discussion with Russia for transfer of technology of the ramjet motor for local assembly. The Brahmos missile is 78% indigenous as of now and its percentage will increase 95% after the local manufacturing of ramjet motor. The initial version of Brahmos had a flight range of 290 km. It was able to carry conventional warhead from 200 kg to 300 kg, cruising altitude of up to 15 km and terminal altitude as low as 10 meters. The liquid ramjet in the second stage takes the missile closer to Mach 3 speed in the cruise phase. The missile is not known to be interceptable by any weapon system in the world. In January 2022, India officially declared the test launch of Extended Range Brahmos Missile or Brahmos ER. Though the range of Brahmos ER is not officially declared, various reports indicate the range of missile is more than 450 km. In 2022, India has conducted multiple trials of land, air and warship version of Brahmos ER validating its range and accuracy. India is also working in further extending the range of Brahmos missile to 800 km. Speaking on the eve of the Silver Jubilee of Brahmos Aerospace, the Indian Air Force Chief of Air Staff VR Chaudhary has said, as one of our most lethal air combat assets, the Brahmos supersonic missile has really galvanized the way we will equip ourselves with precision firepower in coming years. Seeing the conflicts that are happening across the globe, the importance of precision, long-range firepower cannot be underscored. He also said, the combination of Brahmos on Su-30 MKIs have really given us tremendous capability that has enhanced our firepower. It has made deterrence value of Indian Air Force go up by leaps and bounds. He further added that initially Indian Air Force had planned to equip two squadrons of Su-30 MKI with Brahmos missile, but as the situation unfolded in northern borders three years ago, Indian Air Force realized that the potent weapon can be used very effectively for land attacks and therefore Indian Air Force has equipped more number of squadrons with Brahmos modified aircraft. And today, Indian Air Force has almost all squadrons with Brahmos modified aircraft across the Air Force. In future, the next generation Brahmos or Brahmos NG, which will be a smaller version, will be fitted into smaller platforms like MiG-29, Miraz-2000 or LC Tejas. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.